student i have written 1 2 3 4 5 6 to access the website that i have already created if i want to get the wordpress in edit mode i have to write localhost 1 2 3 4 5 6 slash wp admin we are moving to localhost 789 okay if i will write wp admin mode i will use admin and password will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 i hope remind me later this is just administration administration email verification now from in here what you can see that pages if i will click on the pages One project is there, one sample page is there, nothing is there. Just only this website is there. If I want to access, you can see only this is coming. Okay. I want to delete this project because this is not belongs to me or I no longer require this. That's why I'm going to click on trash page. Student just for time being, I want to create one home page. Okay, I need a text for that home page and after this I will show you how you will add a login page. I'm copying this text. Add new page. This is home page. I'm writing home page and here I will write the text just I will publish it this is going to be publishing and finish if you will run this refresh this page it will show you home page just you can click on home page they are showing here okay Next one, I'm going to add a login page. How you will add a login page and registration page? You can click on plugins and installed plugins. Now from here, some installed plugins are there. If you want to update this one, you can also update it. And I recommend you, you should must be updated. Update now, update now. You can click update now. All these things should be updated. Okay. Here you need to click on add new plugin because you are going to add a new plugin that is with the name of profile builder. You can write profile builder. Now from here they are showing many plugin regarding related to profile builder. Okay, you can see many plugins are there, but I want to use this plugin. Okay, user profile builder, beautiful user registration form, user profile and user role editor. I want to do this one for you. In your case, it will show install now. For my case, it shows me update now. I'm saying update now. This is updating. But in your case, it will show install now. You have to click on install now. And first, you need to install this. Now, so this is updated. Okay. Now, if you will go to plugins, again, you click on plugins after updated or after installing. You can say, where is my profile builder? This is my profile profile builder plugin is there i can activate i can delete this one i'm going to click on view details this one this showing me detail of the profile builder i'm going to click on activate now from here they will ask you to four steps number one is registration you can select only one page or all of them. The pages can also be set up later manually. You can also set up manually, but here is one wizard is there. You can use this wizard and you can 
customize this one you can set up registration page if i will check this one what happen new user can register add their information and even automatically log in after submitting the form you can customize it with customize field like birthday or favorite card car brand i'm saying yes login page what happened once user have an account they can use the login page to get access to the restricted content you might offer i'm saying yes login page edit profile user can do edit profile and password reset user a simple form where user can reset their password in case of they forget yes all you need to be set it password reset maybe it will not work because it's this is not uh, uh, publish your website that's why continue now soon here their design and user experience setting they will say you want this type of defaults here you can click but right now they will not be added why because these are basic or pro versions are there okay because we are using free of course that's why they are giving only this but in case of if you have a professional version you can apply you can select one of them okay optimize the login and registration flow for your members automatically log user in after registration if you will say automatically login you say no email confirmation after registration you should know but sometime if you need to get email registration that is also good okay hide the admin bar for the subscriber role i'm saying yes admin approval for new user because you are not doing an email confirmation that's why this is automatically disabled continue create the user experience you need for your project this is add-ons you want to add on something extra if they are allow you can use it if they are not allowing you cannot use because it depends on paid version continue okay now it's ready continue to your profile builder dashboard so once you will click here it will ask to allow and continue no student it will shows you your profile builder right now what they are showing me total user it here they will shows you all the users right now i have only one user that's yeah that's why they are showing me only one user and this is a record of 30 days you can see this month you can see last month you can see this year view all users you can see view all users if you have more than one user I mean definitely users are more you can edit this is username email role is there admin name email administrator one post is there okay this is by default they are showing me if you want to add new user you can also add new users but i will do it later on. where you can see this is users all user add new user and profile profile builder when you will click on profile builder dashboard it will show you this dashboard okay now so what you will do useful shortcut for setup you need to get these setup this one is register you can copy this one control c make it a notepad file register this link second one is login this is for login and third one is the edit profile edit profile and restricted content if you have restricted piece of contents on individual posts and pages based on your role if you have some restricted contents you can restrict them okay but i am using these three okay if you will go to the pages see they are showing home page is there login page is there password reset page is there register page is there like that i'm going to refresh my page here they are nothing is showing only home page and this wp task is showing when i will refresh this page they are showing me all these things okay home page when i will click on home page they are showing me home page by clicking on login page they are telling me you are currently logged in as admin log out i am going to log out username email they are asking me you can enter your username and password i am writing here admin and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is my password remember me this login 
I will be able to log in my website. Okay. Edit profile. I'm going to edit profile. In edit profile, these informations are there. If you want to reset your password, you can also reset your password. Okay. If you want to write first name, for example, I'm writing Muhammad Shahzad. Okay. First name and last name. Update. It will be updated in my profile. Your profile has been successfully updated. You can see that I did not write any single line of code. Just I have added the plugin, profile builder plugin, and these are all they are here. Okay. And reset password, maybe it will not work. Okay, you are logged in. You can change your password or edit, part, edit profile form by clicking this one only. Okay. And uh, next one is if you want to create another register user i'm going to register one more user so i'm right ahmed your username ali ali ahmed email ali at the rate gmail.com website no need to website right here one two three four five six repeat repeat password one two three four five six add user now from this way i have created one user with the name of ali has been successfully created if you want to see where you can see you can go to profile builder dashboard you can see the number of user you can see there are two no number of users are there when you will see view all users see ali role is subscriber admin role is administrator because by default in setting you have mentioned that all the new user will be subscriber that's why if new user is coming they will they will get automatically this role as a subscriber but if you want to change you can also change by using this setting general settings in setting there is subscriber is there you can write contributor author editor administrator even administrator okay whenever new user will come that will become automatically administrator that is wrong okay you will not give any authority administration authority to anyone okay if you give administrator authority to anyone they can destroy your website okay by default is subscriber role they can view they can purchase these items and they can change their i edit profile only okay save changes by default is subscriber is there now soon if i want to register as a login as a uh, ali how can edit i will log in first is login is there i will going to be logged in. then i will write ali password is one two one two three four five six remember me login now soon they are showing you are currently logged in as Ali. Okay, you can view all these pages. But if you want to try to update, suppose you are going to click on dashboard. See, all the things have been hidden from you because you are not authorized person. You have roles only subscriber. Okay, you can view your web, your uh, profile, change the password, new, new password, only that one, nothing else. Okay, because your role is subscriber. Okay, so clear. So do you have any question till now? Okay, so now I'm giving the time you can add these all these things. In this way, you can add login page, edit profile, and password reset and register page.